That pretty much is my project. <laughs> that was good, thank you. Um, how many of you doodle? Anyone in here doodle like when you're in a meeting? I'm always drawing little flowers and little curlies and things like that. Well, <laughs> I see some of you are right now. Um, there's actually nothing wrong with doodling, and there's a lot of research out there now saying that if you doodle, you know, it kind of helps you think, and you connect something to what you've heard. So if you're listening to a book, you can be sitting there, you can be doodling. I doodle all the time, and I know in the past we've had teachers who were like, stop pay attention, but sometimes they are actually paying attention. Now, if they're drawing a Van Gogh landscape or something, then they're going too far and they're probably not paying attention. But I have set up this little center. I'm really excited to have new iPads and things like that. Um, I'm trying to turn the library into a 21st century library. I've bought some new furniture. I've got tall tables they can use for like a tall desk, especially for my sleepers. And I have the iPads now, so if they want to listen to an uh, interactive book or if they want to work with an interactive book, like our capstone books, which I love, um, we can put an iPad on that tall table and they can stand and do that if they want to stand. I love the bouncy band idea. I want to do that too. I needed one just a minute ago before I came up here. Just, okay. Um, listening. You know, how many of you have an Audible account? Anyone listen to books? Okay, if you drive a long way to work or if you just drive 15, 20 minutes, that's a great way to catch up on your children's literature, your young adult literature. That's how I keep up. I listen to books all the time when I'm cleaning house or, you know, I've always got my little earbuds in and I love to listen to books to stay up to date so I will know what to suggest to children. Um, we use Audible books quite a bit, so now I have this center in the library. I know everyone needs to have maker spaces, and I'm trying to redesign. I have a marker board area now for small group work, and I've gotten some great ideas today. Um, so pretty much that's, that's what I'm doing. And uh, anyone have any questions about the center? Okay, so maybe in March I can have some pictures and show you what my students are doing with this um, Listen and Doodle Center. Okay, I've got a lot of research up here to back up, you know, listening to audiobooks. They've done a lot of studies. I know that there was one group that was a control group and an experimental group, and they all, some of them read the book, some just listened, and afterward, in 90 days, they had increased 30% over the others in their scores just from listening. So can you imagine if a teacher has that face time with them, going over the vocabulary, some listen, some, you know, just read the print. Um, I think when you bring all of those things together to make them engaged, let them discuss with each other what they've read and share with the blended learning style, not just technology creating something, but actually sharing it, writing book reviews, things with each other, recording themselves, doing a um, like a little book talk with their friends and sharing that. That's the kind of stuff that really brings a love of literature. And that's what I want to do in the library. I want to get the children reading because we all know reading gives them knowledge. And what does knowledge give them? It gives them power. And that power is what will change our world for the better. So that's, that's why I wanted to do this. So that's it. <laughs>